Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So all you'll need for this project is your glue gun with some glue sticks. You're gonna need some candy canes that I picked up from Walmart, which were less than a dollar. I believe they were like 89 cents. Then I picked up some of these mints for a dollar. A dollar tree, very inexpensive project, you guys. You are going to love this. Then I am going to leave the link down below how I created this hurricane um, vase and then you're going to need your candle and of course some ribbon. I prefer the ribbon with the wire just because it just makes my ribbon look a lot more fluffier and fancy but any ribbon will do whatever size you want for this project. Okay, so let's get started. If you're going to use a vase that is in a glass container, be sure that you wipe down the surface and it is clean and ready to go. Go ahead and unwrap your peppermint. Mint. And then take your glue gun. Oh, by the way, if there are any broken pieces, just put them to the side for the kids or you to snack on later. Not snack on, but you know. Okay, so you're going to dab a little glue in the middle of your peppermint. And then I like to leave the vase on the table just so you can line up the candy exactly exactly to the base, like so. Ta-da, we're all done. Just kidding. So you're gonna go ahead and put one row along the sides of the candle. Okay guys, so when you're going on to the second row, you wanna make sure that that peppermint lines up in between two of the peppermints on the first row. I hope that made sense. Then you're going to go all the way up the candle till it looks like, ta-da, till it looks like so. Then you can either tie a ribbon around it or you can even glue a pre-made ribbon, whatever works for you. Moving on to the next candle, we are going to take the candle in the vase and put it in to the other vase. Then what you're going to do is you can either unwrap your mints or keep them wrapped. I wanted to keep them in the wrapper. You're just going to drop them down into the vase. And I like to make run one row first all the way around. And then if they kind of get stuck, you just want to wiggle the candle that's inside. Then you're going to move on to the second row. Again, you, if you need to wiggle it to move it around, go ahead and wiggle the candle that's inside. And then you're going to do a third row. After the third row, grab your candy canes. And Millie, my wonderful assistant, is going to help me fill up the vase with these candy canes. And we are just going to go all the way around because we like it to look very full. And this took... I believe two candy cane boxes to fill. Bless you, Drakey. And then there you have it. Ta da! Yes. Candle number two. Oh, let's not forget the ribbon. So I'm going to take my wired ribbon and I am going to wrap it around. Now, let me tell you right now the ribbons are not my specialty. So the wire kind of helps me disguise my not-so-talented ribbons. But, uh, well, just tying ribbons. I can cut up some ribbons and do all different kinds of stuff. I kind of like the peppermint ribbon, but Millie liked the red one. So we're just going to go with the red one. And then we're just going to tie a simple knot. Make two bunny ears wrap it around and voila I couldn't decide which one was my favorite candle between the peppermint overloaded candle or this one it's just so cute it looks like hair is coming out of the vase but there you have it guys when they're all lit up they are just so gorgeous at night I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY Go ahead and thumbs up this video and subscribe because it is absolutely free. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.